What if I say that you can in theory travel far into the future, to years like 3025 or even more, and even have enough time to reach distant galaxies within a human lifetime? And we already traveled in time in small dimensions. Time travel means experiencing time at a different rate than others. But there's a limit. Time can be bend but only moves forward. No known law of physics allows information or matter to move into the past without paradoxes or contradictions. Forward time travel, though, is supported by well-tested science. Two key things can slow down how fast your time flows compared to others. First, there is speed. When you move very fast, close to the speed of light, time nearly stops. Then there is gravity. When you're near a massive object like a black hole, time also stops. Both come from Einstein's theories, and both have been confirmed by experiments. But how does it work? First, let's talk about gravity. This comes from Einstein's general relativity, which says that mass bends space and time. In regions with strong gravity, like near a black hole, time moves more slowly compared to regions with weak gravity. Why does this happen? Because gravity changes the shape of space-time. Just think of space-time as a flat surface where every object with mass will bend it. Now imagine time as a car. When the car drives over flat space-time, there it can go faster. Now if space-time is bend due mass, the car has to drive more to reach the same point. Now black holes totally bend space-time, forming these funnels, where the car has to drive distance near to infinite. So the car drives with the same speed in every scenario, but the more space-time is bend, so longer it takes to reach the same point. For example, on Earth, your head ages slightly faster than your feet. It's because your head experiences slightly less gravity than your feet because it's farther away from the core. The difference is tiny, a few billionths of a second over a lifetime, but it's real and measurable. The effect gets stronger in more extreme situations. Now let's talk about time travel through speed. Time slows down at high speeds because of Einstein's theory of special relativity. When you move close to the speed of light, time for you, from your point of view, runs normally. But to an outside observer, your clock runs slower. This effect is called time dilation. The reason is that the speed of light is constant for everyone. To keep that constant true, the universe adjusts measurements of time and space. At high speeds, space contracts and time stretches, so events take longer compared to someone standing still. If a star is 10 light years away for someone standing still, and you're traveling at near light speed, you might measure that same star to be only 4 light years away. That's why you could reach distant galaxies within your own lifetime if you traveled fast enough. You can measure the difference in time with this formula. T s1 is the time experienced by the moving object, while T is the time measured by someone at rest. C stands for the speed of light and V is the interesting part. This is the speed we are flying, so let's say we fly one hour with 100 kilometers per hour and fill it in the formula. After breaking it down, you can see there isn't much difference. But let's say we fly only one meter per second, slower than the speed of light. Then one hour in the ship are 44.17 years on Earth. As you see on this diagram, the effect remains insignificant until we get very close to the speed of light. So, if it's possible, why aren't we doing it? There are two big problems, but they can be solved in near future, and here is why. First, energy. Traveling near the speed of light would require huge amounts of fuel, far beyond anything we can currently produce. Second, safety. Getting close to a black hole without falling in is dangerous. Even the smallest mistake would pull you past the event horizon, where not even light can escape. And also, we can't reach one at the moment. To understand this better, here's a video about how black holes could work. If you are interested, just click on it. See you.